Well, folks, this is uh, looking like this is going to be uh, my Pakistani mulberries last year in the ground. Um, unfortunately, it's doing what it's done for the last three years, and uh, that has basically dropped every single berry that's on the tree. I'll be lucky to get a handful off this this year. Um, and I'm not entirely sure why it drops every year. I have a few ideas, but I'm, I'm still, I can't ascertain specifically what it is. But uh, you can see here, there's another one there. They just dropping like flies. Um, my own personal opinion is that it's just a cold that wakes up too early. Some of them you see here are just shriveling up like this. Uh, but pretty much every single one of them are dropping out. There's another casualty here. If I shake this tree, uh, they'll all just come falling down. You can even see them here on the bottom here. So I was talking to um, a friend of mine about this and he reckons that I have too many plants around the base of this tree. Now I don't necessarily think so because mulberries are exceptionally vigorous trees and have exceptionally vigorous rootstocks. And the, the plants that I have the base here are comfrey, yarrow, some sage there, um, and that is, what is that, I keep forgetting, um, lovage. And anyway, I do a chop and drop with these every year, and uh, I have it mulched up here uh, at the base here, so that should be providing some sort of nutrition. Um, but however, I mean, what do I know? Maybe it is. There is another fig tree there that could be competing uh, for nutrients as well. But that said, this is in the tree probably a year and a half, all on its own without any of this here, uh, or that fig tree there, and it's still dropped mulberries. Um, my suspicion is that it just wakes up too early. Um, we're probably at the end of April and it's it's grown pretty well. Um, you can see it's put up probably about, I don't know, five, six centimetres of growth already. Um, and we're only like, this is only after waking up three or four weeks ago, or sorry, probably about two and a half weeks ago rather. And um, if it wasn't, if it was stuck for nutrients, you'd probably have maybe um, lighter green leaves and you probably wouldn't have as much growth on this or probably you'd have less vigorous growth on those shoots. So it must be something else. But going back to what I was saying, I reckon it's a cold. Um, we're still in April and we still get cold nights um, and we're still uh, not out of the frost danger yet. Our last frost date is probably around early to mid May. So if a frost comes through here, it's just going to wipe it out. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, this did get quite cold in here. Not quite frost, or we didn't get quite a frost, but cold enough to burn these leaves here. Um, so maybe that's the reason for it. Um, but in either case, there's no way I can stop this from waking up early by virtue of where it is in this polytunnel. So... Um, yeah, I thought maybe as well, maybe it's nutrient thing, I've been feed, or lack of nutrients uh, because of root competition, but I have been feeding it, foliar spraying it as well, and yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to give it uh, this season uh, just to see what happens. Um, if it does, by a miracle, produce another crop for me or manage to ripen up what its existing crop well enough, I'll probably rethink it, but as for now, I'm going to be... Uh, chopping this back, uh, I'll probably sell a lot of cuttings, I'll, I'll graft a lot of cuttings and I'll dig this out of the ground. I do have some other mulberries that are at the back of the polytunnel outside where it's uh, dark and cooler and they're just about to wake up now. So they're probably about two and a half weeks behind this and I suspect that's going to make a difference but we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, sad day. Um, I was really chuffed at myself when I first got my Pakistani mulberry. It's one of those fruits that I, I desperately wanted to try and I thought it would do amazing well, but obviously not in our climate. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate. But uh, if anybody has any ideas, what the, if there's something I've overlooked that uh, they might think it is, please say so in the comments. Um, I've also been looking at videos by a lady in Florida, Jan Dooling, I think her name is, or Jan Dooling, and she talked about Pakistani mulberries and how they can drop fruit a lot. Uh, not all varieties of Pakistanis, but certain ones, so there's obviously that as well, so this could be another reason why it's dropping, but uh, anyway, that's how she's looking for now. Take it easy, folks. Well, guys, I just thought I'd show you this by way of comparison. This is ideally what uh, my Pakistani should be doing. Uh, my camera isn't quite focusing, but uh, you can see all of these mulberries on this, and they are hanging on. They do not They do not look like they're going to fall off. Uh, this just happens to be a graft of, I can't remember which Pakistani variety it is. We have Gerardi Dwarf on this side and some Pakistani here. Uh, purely experimental, but as you can see, nice, healthy, long, lush green growth and uh, nice green berries so 
yeah i don't know i suspect it's probably just the uh, the actual plant itself rather than the uh, growing circumstances that's causing the fruit drop on uh, my other mulberry but anyway there you go